This is the Protran 306 CRK. It is a generator transfer switch, which I have installed flush inside my garage wall right here. I didn't use any special mounting kit. I literally just screwed uh, this side into this stud running along the side there. You've got your breakers uh, for each right here. These two are actually connected together as a, as a double uh, breaker. And then up here are the actual switches themselves that separate the line power coming in from the street from the generator power. Um, so you have your, your line through here and then you switch it off and then switch to generate and then you can mark your your circuits and everything once you have them sorted so the way i installed this is um uh, well first i found a location right next to the main breaker panel right here the wires uh, from the outside of the house uh, to the the power inlet box come in about here and then the wires um, that lead from this to the breaker come in about here um, inside the wall uh, these ones will go down here. They cross through this 2x4, which I drilled a hole through. So they actually cross through here and go up to the breaker panel inside the wall. These are them, actually, through. Uh, they come through here, up here, and these are them. These are the wires that I'm actually going to wire up into this breaker panel. And then the power from the power inlet box that will plug into the breaker, uh, that actually goes all the way down here through the wall and out this wire wire here and I uh, used a pretty thick wire I went a size up from uh, from their recommendations because I just didn't like their recommendations I thought they, the, the wire they used was too um, too thin of a gauge so that will come out here um, into some just gray uh, conduit that goes this way through my garage wall into the power outlet uh, box out there so I've just wired up the wires from the transfer switch to the main breaker panel. Normally you have a white um, wire connected to um, the breaker panel box in the back, right back here. And then you have either black or, or red wires connected one to each uh, breaker right here. You're basically bypassing that. You're inserting the transfer switch in between that wiring circuit. So instead of your your black wire coming down here and connecting right into the circuit breaker, you're actually going to connect it to the black wire coming from the transfer switch. And then the red wire feeding right back through gets connected to the circuit breaker for that particular circuit. So Here's an example. This is a red wire right here, and it's marked with all A's. It has a corresponding black wire also marked with all A's right here. Be careful because these are all live. Right here. This wire used to connect into this circuit breaker. We took that off and we took the, black, the big black and the big red wires coming from our transfer switch running all the way around through here and we inserted that into the connection. So the black wire now connects to this other black wire coming from the fridge and the red wire coming from the transfer switch now connects to that circuit breaker for that fridge. So we've just inserted the transfer switch in between the wire, that black wire, and that circuit breaker right here. So now what's happening is the electricity running from our main power comes through the circuit breaker right here, down the red wire, all the way down, up through to our circuit breaker in our transfer switch. Kitchen fridge, A, this one right here. And then down the black wire, all the way back up again, up to the circuit wire for the fridge that goes to the fridge. And then of course it connects with neutral and then that comes and connects back to these white wires and that completes the circuit. So that's pretty much what we've done for each one of these circuits. Each one of them has two wires, black and red. They're each marked with a letter. They come through here 
and we basically just take our wires off of the circuit breaker, attach them to um, the circuit transfer switch wires, and that's it. So you can see on our transfer switch, we have a few circuits. Now I'm using this for hurricane use, so I really wanted the kitchen fridge, the garage fridge, um, one bedroom and one bath on one side of the house, uh, the main lighting throughout the house and the master bedroom and the master bathroom power plus a microwave. Now I've tallied up each one of these circuits uh, approximately what power they're using depending on what wattage of light bulbs and what wattage of the refrigerators and the microwave and I've figured out what power can go on which circuits. So the two refrigerators are each on their own separate 20 amp circuit and then everything else is on a, each on a 15 amp circuit uh, which is enough. I did go ahead and replace the main wires here there's um, the, the, the black, the red, the neutral. Uh, I did replace those with thicker wires. These wires come from the transfer switch and they go all the way down through the wall, as I showed you earlier. Now this has been secured and connected with clips all the way along the wall through to my exterior wall. Uh, this is that same conduit as it comes up and feeds out. This is where we're still in the garage. This feeds out to the exterior wall, which is right here. So this is our input, our power source input for our generator. This box right here has a little flap, weatherproof flap. And that's where your main power cord will get connected to the generator. Now you have your circuit breakers, in addition to the circuit breakers here, these are basically just backup circuit breakers. And then this is the transfer switch section. So this transfers the electricity from the house power to the auxiliary power, the generator power. So you can see right now, all of the switches are switched to line, which basically just means that it's a, it's a pass through. So the electricity is passing down here, through here, and back again. That's basically what line means. It's really simple. Then when you want to switch to generator power, you've got to get your generator up and running first, get it fully plugged in, ready to go before you do anything. Once it's running at full capacity, then you come over and it's plugged in, then you come over here and you'll carefully one by one switch from line to off to generator and that will switch the generator power on to complete the circuit. So I've just finished painting and this is what our final product looks like. All cocked in and sealed, painted and secured all the conduit, sealed it all up there. plugged in ready to go so we're just gonna so start Now we have our moment of truth that we're gonna switch over the line from the house power to the generator power. So we're switching these breakers one by one, just listening to the generator, make sure it's not stalling or anything. And there you go, they're all done. And generator sounding good. All of the power's all good inside the house. So it's a great success. So if you're interested in doing a project like this, you can find these generator switch packages on Amazon or Home Depot. Uh, I would only encourage doing it if you're comfortable with electrical work. 
uh, but it's it's a great challenge and a great upgrade to your house just uh, do your research and be very safe